Dude, you better get up off me, okay? Because that's not what we're doing here today. We're supposed to investigate a murder. You over here trying to investigate my panties. I don't think so. Uh, no, you can save the fun for later. Go investigate. There's no later. Like, it's not. What? What? Hello, everybody. My name is Jazzy Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. I'm about to just call it RC. This, this is shortening it up a bit. But we're back, and there has been a murder, actually two murders, and I feel like it's because somebody hating because they wanna be the main girl, they wanna be the star girl. So before I dive on that, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like for your girl, follow me on social medias, all the good stuff, and let's begin. Oh, you're that cutie who was with Kurumi. Look, a murder just happened, stop trying to pick me up, okay? What are you doing here? If you don't go underground, they'll be mad at you. Underground? I was called for questioning, but now I'm heading back. Let's go together. Oh, girl, you want to pick fun. me up? I'll be right there. So go on ahead without me. Right. Are you sure? Well, I was curious. Are all the other theater club members also underground? Hmm. Like Yoshiko, Warona, and Kurone too? Right. Yeah, that's right. Yoshiko is feeling pretty shocked right now. Mm -hmm. She's in the rest area because she wants to be alone. Yeah. Warona is with her usual friend group in the makeup room. Okay. As for Kurone. Maybe she's in the staff room with the other club members. Ah, oh, you got it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'll Thank be going you. Now. All right, she just gave me all the tea, girl. That's all I need to know. Um, hmm. teacher. I'm right. Sorry. My student is distressed, so please excuse us for a moment. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Let me you talk okay? to you. Yeah. I'm fine, but Kurumi got caught by the peacekeepers. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? I don't Desu know. Hiko. Can you lend me a hand investigating this? Don't tell me you want to keep investigating behind the peacekeepers' back. I always will. What do you I mean? Know it's reckless. The chief even told me not to, but this is something I have to do. Mm-hmm. You gotta save the woman you love, right? Oh my god. I totally get it. I don't even know that girl. Mm -hmm. I don't even it's know her. It's not like I love right. my man. Usually I'd help you out of sheer respect alone, but mm. those bastards questioned me already, so uh, I can't move from this spot. Oh, great. Couldn't you make up an excuse to leave? Right. Aren't you good at that? Or turn it to yeah, someone else? I probably else? could, but I couldn't stay away for too long. Hmm. Maybe I could slip out in disguise. Right. Uh, that'd put on a high alert and make the investigation tougher. Oh, about like, where are what you? Should okay. I do? Hmm. There's another solution. I'll disguise you. So you can keep on investigating. Oh, you want me to keep investigating in disguise? Right, yeah, I disguise I'll give you a disguise as a too. I'll leave this to you. Oh, but if this goes on for much longer, we'll both be in trouble. My disguises can't last forever. Do they have a time limit? What? Really? Right. It puts a huge strain on my body. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. Oh wow. Are, are you okay? Not really. <laughs> But I gotta do this. Hmm. It's all to save the love of your life. I didn't know that this like affected him physically. I had no idea. I mean, this saying I love her is a bit extreme, but besides, I'm a master detective of the WDO. Mm -hmm. I've seen plenty of dangerous situations. Hmm. So, who do you want to disguise as? Tell me. Oh, are they gonna get? Oh, they're gonna give me the toys. Okay. You know what? I high key wanna do you, but. I think something is telling me to act as, who talks a lot? Because she doesn't talk to many people. So I mean, being her wouldn't really help out. So let me see. Maybe I should talk to you because she's the social light. So maybe I should talk to you. I want to disguise as Yoshiko. Yeah. So you want to be the star candidate of the theater club? Yeah. She's known for being an honor student, right? I want to be the one that's social. So I want people to talk to me. all about her. Right. Why do you think I wanted her on the school? Once I've seen the face, I never forget it. Mm -hmm. Just leave it to me. Okay, I got you. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I have to help she her. She said she's not feeling well. May I accompany her to the restroom? I'm sorry. We'll be back right away. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice, Desu. All right, that was mm -hmm. perfect. I slipped a voice changer under your clothes, so... Be sure to use it. Thank oh, you. Also, just a heads up. Uh huh. Uh, uh, touching your own boobs won't feel good or anything. Oh my God. I'm not gonna touch them. Right. We'll see about that. Perverted detective. Oh, you got something to say, Shinny? Say it to my I'm face. I'm heading back now. Get going. Shinny acting like she all up in her feelings. Well respected by everyone. Exactly. 
I hope I can extract information from different theater members. But Let's I go. Be careful and avoid the real Yoshiko. Hmm. I think Yoshiko is in the rest area in Waruna's makeup room. Uh huh. Kune should be in the staff room. So I should get away from the rest area. Okay, so let's do another investigation. Now we, the okay, president. Let's see. Let's go this way. The theater hall is currently closed off by Vice Director Martina of the Peacekeeper. All students oh. who are at the scene are to remain in the lower level. Oh. You are to stay there as well. Okay, I don't need no attitude. Damn. All right. Let's see. Let's look. Detective. Oh my god, I feel like there's more to be discovered. Okay, bitch, I don't know where to go. I'm trying to figure out where. Lord, okay, let's go over here. Okay, there we go. That's the lower level. Jeez, I was trying to figure out where to go. All right, let's get past them. I'm not going to talk to none of the bystanders. They don't look like they have any information for me. I'm going to just go ahead and look around oh. for... Oh, so Yosuhiko's here. I should probably stay away. Okay, okay. So she's in that... What's she doing in that corner? Huh. Okay, so she's sitting there just by herself, huh? Okay. We're gonna leave that alone. All right, now let's go over here. Let's go all the way in the back. Let's see. Let's go in here, the makeup room. Oh? Can we have some time alone for a bit. Oh, excuse me? Am I not wanted? Oh, she's talking to them. Oh, she said, y'all side characters get away. About what happened. Hmm. How could you shoot your face here after murdering Cotton? Oh, she thinks she did huh? it. You're not supposed to be here. Hmm. Listen, the peacekeepers are everywhere. Hmm. So stay away from me, got it? Murderers should just... Oh? Wait. Who are you calling a murderer? Right. Enough. I have nothing to say to you. Oh. Shut up and get out of here. Oh, really? Oh, really? She thinks things. she did it? Right. I heard they were on bad terms, but maybe she's more on edge because of what happened. But on does she know that, something on Warren on that? Yoshiko is the killer. Maybe there's a reason why she thinks that. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I chose the right one. Maybe. Maybe I chose the right one to disguise as. Oh. Oh. Let's go in her locker. It's a yeah. Locker. Huh. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. Let's see. I should open it and search inside. Why hers only one pink? Is she the it girl of the school? Is it just because she's an honor student that she gets the pink locker? Everybody else gets basic Bettys? What is this? You're opening a young girl's locker? Hmm. What you're doing is totally psycho. Look like I'm going in her room. It's for the investigation. Give me a break. Right. Yes, whatever. I hope it doesn't turn into a hobby. Shitty, don't get jealous. The All suit right. and makeup items are neatly placed. Hmm. Huh? There's a glass in the back. Oh? It's the same kind that was used for the play. Huh. What is this doing here? Right. Huh, the same kind of glass was used. Why do you have that? Because you was practicing? There. Oh. Huh? There's a photo on the back of the door. Mm-hmm. It's a two-shot photo of Yoshiko and hmm. another girl wearing the school's uniform. Is that the girl that died? She took a picture with the girl that died? Yo, she might be a murderer. Who is she? She might be a murderer. That's the one that died. I bet that's the girl that died. That's about it for the things of note in this locker. Huh. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to you, Miss Nettie. You managed it well. Oh? Huh? What do you mean? Right. You're getting good at playing dumb, too. Oh? <laughs> Are you practicing for the peacekeepers? Oh, let me find out. Nobody likes this girl. Oh, you wow. You really the top actress after all. Are Ooh. you talking about what just happened? You really want to say that so loudly. Oh? Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. She said, I'm going to mind my business as introverts do. I like her. I like her. She seems to believe Yoshiko is the culprit from the way she's talking. Yeah. Is there something about Yoshiko that makes her think that? Man, everybody thinks I'm a killer. Let me go in Car Karin's locker. locker. Oh, okay, so everybody got their own Karin's little thing. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Uh, um, that isn't your locker, Yoshiko. Uh. Oh, you're right. Did you forget? Oh, we talked about this during the last meeting. Um, about her sneaking, sneaking in people's lockers. She was snooping. Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights. Oh, so we aren't allowed to open other people's lockers. Oh, so she be stealing. The situation is bad enough already, so please don't do anything that could start more fights. Oh, so Yoshiko had little uh, sticky fingers, huh? Right. Sorry. Huh. Okay. And then that's Warren's locker. It's a club locker. 
I probably shouldn't open the lockers of people I'm not disguised as. That's right. Okay, so we could probably do that later. Yoshiko! Why'd you leave me back there? I left you? I was so scared. Those peacekeepers kept harassing me. Mm. They're the worst. I'm sorry. Um, I watched from above the whole time. Oh, did you? I saw Karen die. Hmm. I'm going to have nightmares about this. Hmm. I'm so scared. Can we walk home together today? Please? Yeah, hey, we can. If you were watching from above, does that mean you were with Karen on the lights? Right. I was. Why are you asking me this now? Did you see anything happen? Then tell me. Did Kurne do anything strange during the performance? Right. Did she carry anything suspicious or do anything out of the ordinary? Right. No. She was the same old unfriendly Kurne. I don't think she's unfriendly. I think she just doesn't talk if she doesn't want to. That's it. She came to the catwalk before the performance and was there the whole time until the incident occurred. Okay. If she did anything out of the ordinary, I would have immediately noticed. Lighting requires perfect teamwork. Uh -huh. well, to be honest, it feels really suffocating to be around her. Exactly, oh, I hate on her. On the lights instead, Yoshiko. Anyway, what do mm. you ask? Oh, uh, no, no reason. reason. Yeah. So, Karine was just her usual self, huh? Yeah. Mm. I never lie to you. Oh, I bet you won't. Okay. So she was up there the Remember whole time. Remember the door of poisoned cups part, where they shuffled the cups? Uh huh. Could you see that part from above? Hmm. Yes, of course. Although the audience couldn't, uh -huh. I could see their hands moving from above. Okay. As part of the lighting crew, that was my most important scene, so it would have been a problem if I couldn't. But why, though? See, because my theory is that the lighting crew had something to do with it, because if they shuffled it and they could see from up top, they could see which one has actual poison, leading the person that's in, in charge of the lights to go ahead and shine the light on the one that has the poison to let them know to do that first because they did boom and then boom it wasn't like the lights did it like simultaneously on both cups they did one and then two so i think that they did the lights for the poison as the first one and the safe one second and so that's why she's like that's the most important part maybe most important right yoshko you complimented me during the meeting about this remember hmm. it's the scene where we shine the spotlight on the glasses after shuffling uh-huh oh. Right. That, uh, how is it supposed to go again? Right. It's the presentation where we use two spotlights. I remember Kurt that. puts a spotlight on one of the glasses first, then I immediately put another spotlight down. See? See what I'm saying? We're getting there. We're getting Are there. you not watching? Uh, I was. Hmm. I just remembered. You did an excellent job with the lights. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> you complimented me. I was so excited. Mm -hmm. All right, she ain't God, y'all. Oh, there's something I need to do right now. Maybe another time. Right. Huh. Uh huh. Both members of the lighting crew can see how the glasses are being shuffled. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, do you have a moment? I want to talk about what happened. Mm -hmm. Um, Yoshiko. Hmm? Huh? What's wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Why are you looking so Excuse shifty? Me. <sighs> What's going on? She suddenly fell quiet. Right. I guess I shouldn't question her anymore. Huh. She looked like she wanted to say something. Right, but she was but scared. Maybe it's something she can't say to Yoshiko. Maybe oh. Maybe she'll talk if I'm disguised as someone else. Oh, so maybe I can get different from LK. I see what they want me to do. They want me to dress as everybody at some point. Okay. That's what it was. Oh, oh, not y'all gossiping. What y'all talking about? It's Yoshiko. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Right. Oh. It's nothing. What y'all gossiping What's about? What's going on? Is there something they don't want Yoshiko to hear? Hmm. So I gotta be somebody else in order for me to get info from them. All right, so we got everything from here. Let me go ahead and get out. So they gossiping over here. What y'all doing? How about that? Oh, well, she's scared. Okay, let me go in here. Um, you were in charge of the costumes? Mm-hmm. You're acting like this is the first time we've met. I'm sorry, girl. I don't remember side characters. Sorry. Do you not remember me? Well, people call me the ghost member all the time. The ghost member? I'm here every day, but no one notices me. Oh. Well, at least I'm not as bad as Kurene. Hmm. But she stands out a lot when she's on stage. Hmm. Maybe she acts a certain way so she doesn't stand out on purpose? Oh. What do you think, Yoshiko? Oh, y'all thinking she uh, did it? 
I'm not so sure. <laughs> hmm. She's quiet. Yeah. Maybe she's not on good terms with Yoshiko. Mm, no, maybe she's just shy. I think. I think that's Even if it. I figure anything hmm. A water gun prop. A gun? Right. Oh, it's just a water gun. Hmm. There's a hole on top for adding water. Hmm. That's the prop we used in our previous performance. You did a wonderful job. Oh, thank hey. you. Huh. So they could have used that to add it into whatever cup or bottle. I'm gonna remember that. Hmm. And what about you, Miss Thing? Oh, what should I do? I'm gonna get yelled at. Why? What's wrong? Right. Oh, Yoshiko, I'm so glad you're here. Hmm. Is there a problem? Yes. Well, we're missing a prop glass. I got it. A glass? Hmm. You mean for the stage? Yeah. Yes. You're the one who prepared it for our play today. Uh huh. Um, did I do that? I sure did, and it's in my locker. Huh? Did you forget? We originally right. planned to use wine glasses, but their thin stems break so easily. Mm -hmm. So last time you bought four others, including the backups. Hmm. Uh, oh, right. Two backups were on the prop shelf, but uh -huh. there's only one of them now. Uh -huh. oh, where could it have gone? In my locker, in my possession. Yoshiko looking more and more guilty. Oh, speaking of, hmm. I want to ask if you're the one who set the glasses up on the stage. Yes, I was. Hmm. Did you notice anything strange with the glasses at the time? No, they were spotless. Uh huh. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. I see. Hmm. Uh huh. So they were spotless at the time. This happened on enough. the stage. This happened as the play happened. Oh. Hmm. I think that's about all the information I can gather while disguised as Yoshiko. People mm -hmm. treat Yoshiko exactly like it was reputed. Right. Everyone around her seems to trust her. Hmm. That being said, Waruna and Kurane seem to think Yoshiko is the culprit. They, they sure do. Poisoned a rival to eliminate the competition? But Maybe. I don't see her as someone who could kill. Huh. There was no info tying her to the murder either. See, this is one statement that I never get whenever there's like murders or some crimes happening. Like whenever they report that somebody has done something bad, like kill somebody, they'll be like, oh my God, I didn't remember them to be somebody that could kill. I didn't think that they looked like someone could kill. Like what does a killer slash a criminal slash whatever, what do they look like to you? They have a certain look, they gotta wear a certain fit, they gotta wear certain glasses. Like. They could look like anybody. Everybody's capable of doing anything. I don't put it past anybody, okay? I think I need to disguise myself as another club member and gather more information. All right. Addicted to drag, are you? Uh, girl. I don't think you're about to win any races. Girl, don't try to throw any shade at RuPaul, okay? Don't do that, okay? <laughs> right. I watch RuPaul's Drag Race. I like you. Uh, um. Oh, what's wrong? You look pale. I need another I'm change. I'm sorry, but my student <laughs> appears to be feeling rather anxious. Uh-huh. Why are they all in her How's face? the investigation going? Who hmm. do you want to disguise as next? I want to be... I'm going to do Karne last. I'm going to do Waruna. I want to disguise as Waruna. Yeah. Waruna, the other lead actress on stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of dig chicks who seem hard to get. Oh, my God. Alrighty. Time to turn you into just the kind of girl I like. Oh my so goodness. So creepy. Right. Perverts of a feather flock together. Girl, I'm not a pervert. Don't don't add me in that mix. All right, that's perfect. Hmm. In fact, I totally bang you right now. Excuse me? If you're okay with that. Excuse me? Consent! Hey, no! Come on, that's completely out of line. Right. I'm a superstar detective. Social norms don't apply to me. I refuse to hold myself back. Dude, you better get up off me, okay? Because that's not what we're doing here today. We're supposed to investigate a murder. You over here trying to investigate my panties. I don't think so. Uh, no, we can save the fun for later. Go investigate. There's no later. Like, it's not, what? What? All right, investigation number two. Let's go. All right, now I think I can talk to Yoshiko because she was over here before. So, what's up with you, girl? Hmm. Hey. What's up? <laughs> I said. <sighs> hmm. She hears me. She's ignoring me. Right. I knew they weren't on good terms, but I hmm. didn't expect the seemingly friendly Yoshiko to act this way toward her. Right, Still, what's up? I need to get her to talk, or I won't find any clues. Hmm. Hey, Yoshiko, why are you ignoring me? 
You're mm -hmm. the one who told me not to speak to you. Oh. Huh? I did? Right. It's unlike you to act like this. Are you nervous? And oh. you stop talking to me. Go away. Oh. It's no use. Oh well. Okay, so they're not friends. They hey, don't like each other. Waruna. Oh. You handled that poisoning scene with Cotton really well. Oh. Huh? What? I don't want to see you around here again. Oh. I handled that scene well. Warner's act. No. Right. There was some nuance. Right. There's well, some shade. I indirectly accused Waruna of murdering Cop Soyushko. Hmm. Believes Waruna killed Cotton during the duel of poisoned cups. Hmm. But why does it feel like I thought you were gonna go she in the room. knows? Why else are you even dressed up like that? I don't know. It feels like she knows, or they both know that they were both in on it about what happened. I don't know. Oh, Warren is in this room. Okay, let's uh let's stay away from there. Forgot, forgot, forgot. That was her room. Aww, All I wish this would end soon. Let's talk to the costume girl. Um. Oh, she's okay, me. she's not good on, like they're not on good terms. talking to her either. Okay, so that doesn't work out. All right, let's talk to you. Oh, Lorna, what brings you here? Does nobody like her? Sorry, I I'm busy cleaning up right now. Hmm. She's obviously afraid. Man, okay. Oh, Lorna, I'm cleaning that right now. Mm -hmm. You'll get dirty. Um, oh? I'd appreciate it if you could leave that alone. Oh, got it. Okay. So can't do nothing in here is Warrena. Everybody don't like that girl. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's talk to you. Hey, can you talk right now? Oh, Warrena. Hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. I'm really busy right now. Nobody <laughs> messed with nice. her. She won't talk to me. Hmm. She seems really afraid of Warrena. Everybody's afraid of Warrena. That's crazy. Okay, what about you, hey, girl? Could we talk for a bit? Right. Warner. Oh. What's wrong? Um. Well. She's well. really nervous around Warner. Huh. Maybe I can push her a little to she talk. She didn't really talk to Yoshiko, you so. tell me if you notice something. Hmm. Otherwise, I might get upset. Uh oh. S sorry. Um. There was one thing I noticed. Oh really? What was it? Hmm. It's about Yoshiko. Hmm. I wonder if she wasn't feeling well. Oh. Huh? Why do you say that? Right. I watched from the audience and noticed Yoshiko arrived mm -hmm. to the theater hall late. I saw that too, girl. Yeah, I saw that too. Mm -hmm. Yoshiko always watches from beginning to end, even for the rehearsal performances. Uh huh, but this time she didn't. I wonder what could have changed that. Uh -huh. What did she do after arriving late? Well, she sat near the right edge of the front row before the blackout. Hmm. She was still there after the lights came on. She didn't leave her seat once. Hmm. She looked rather restless throughout the play. Because she knew what was right going down? In the front row, hmm. She looked restless. Huh. Because she knew what was about to go down, maybe. Let's see. Okay, here go the Gossip twins. What's up? Hey, it's Waruna. Hmm. Oh? Sorry. I'll clean it up immediately. Damn, Warwina, was she like over here with a whip and chain? Like, what is going on? I haven't said anything yet. Right. Warwina must be terrifying. She's running these girls right, away. I doubt I can talk to them. My goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, I can't look at Carmen. So, okay, this is Warwina. Why hers look so chaotic? Okay, there we go. Let's go in her locker. This locker has Warren's name on it. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be locked. Right. Isn't there a high school girl's locker while claiming it's for an Oh, she got a little guitar. It's what a criminal would do. Ah, okay, I'm not Cindy, whatever. A criminal. I'm a detective. Right. Well, a trainee. Hmm. It's crammed with music and theater Okay. Magazines. Okay, she's a little rocker. She's a little oh, rebel. Is this a diary? Hmm. But it's locked. I can't open it. Hmm. I don't see a key. And then again, I don't really want to peek into a diary. Hmm. Let's put it back for now. Technically, it's yours. I don't think there are so. any other clues. Hmm. Okay, so nothing else in there. Let me go ahead and talk to Miss Girl. Oh. What do you want? Why does the music always change for Kurene? Like, why? <laughs> Can't you tell I'm trying to blend into the wall as best I can right now? Oh. Don't talk to me. Um, oh, damn. It's about what happened. I didn't expect you to bring it up. Oh? Fine. There is something bothering me about it anyway. What's oh. that? 
I watched the glasses get shuffled while I was above set. Oh. Wasn't it slower than usual? Hmm. Why did you go so slowly? Oh. Um, I was just doing what I usually do. Oh. Uh -huh. Doing it like that makes it super obvious what you were trying to do, you know. Oh, she's huh? implying that she did it. Whatever. Huh. Does she suspect something? Could yeah. Prince Warana took advantage of the duel of poisoned mm. cups to kill Cotton? Maybe they both did it together. Huh. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, oh. Oh, she left you, out. Waruna, it'd be trouble if we ran into each mm -hmm. other. I should hide. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, she went into the other room. Is she heading to the restroom? Right. Ahem. This is just me talking aloud. And what do you want? But this may be an opportunity to hmm. slip into that makeup room. Girl, she said that like that was like big news. Like we we know this. We know. You might be right, but it'd be terrible if I'm caught. I'm just talking to myself again. Girl, we knew that. We are, oh, who's already gonna do that? If you don't grow up hair, you'll never become a full-fledged detective. Hmm. Sh shut up. I'm just considering my options. Right. All right, let's go. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Bam. And let's talk to the other girls she was talking to. Hey, back already? Yeah, yeah. I am. I forgot something. Uh, where was it? Hmm. Let's go ahead and I'm grooming look around my first. Cleanliness is next to godliness. All right. Um, is that Shinny in the in the mirror? What are you doing, girl? She's she upside down. Okay, no, never mind. Okay, let's go talk to them. That was such a shock, right? Hmm. Who would have thought Cotton would die on stage? Hmm. Even though I hated her, oh. seeing her die right in front of me makes me regret bad mouthing her. So this whole school full of haters? Like, what's going on? Yoshiko has to be the one who did it, don't you think? Oh. Yoshiko. What makes you think that? Right. I thought you'd agree, Warna. Yoshiko is the only one who could do this. Hmm. She's fanatical about Aiko, though she thinks nobody noticed. Oh. Aiko. That was Kurumi's close friends who committed suicide six months, which reminds yeah. me, we snuck into the school uh -huh. to seek out the truth behind Aiko's death. And death. Aiko was the one that was in the picture in Yoshiko's locker. Hmm. Maybe this incident has something to do with her death as well. Hmm. Yoshiko never shows her feelings, so who knows what she's thinking. But hmm. I'm sure Yoshiko hated Karen. Man. Karen got to be the main lead ever since Aiko died, after all. Huh. Yoshiko resented her. Which led to today. Huh. Well, how's that for some expert reasoning? Wow. Um, so, is it true that Yoshiko adored Aiko? Hmm. Are you kidding me? Everyone could tell. But that was like her obvious. little girlfriend, huh? Warna, you're really dense when it comes to these things. But, that's what makes you likable. Okay. Also, did you just you call me dumb? The restroom? Okay. Did you just call me dumb, though? Like, <laughs> I'm scared. I can't believe I watched someone die. I wonder, where did that end soul go? Who knows? Heaven or hell, we all know. The true culprit's soul is deep inside the mystery labyrinth. Hmm. Only Kurane could do something this scary. Oh, it thinks she did it. What makes you think it's her? Right. Because I saw it. Oh, did you? Kurane stole Karen's script when it was left in the wings. Oh, huh? she really? She off somewhere with the script. Huh. Isn't that suspicious? Kurene took Karen's script? What right. Does it mean? Is there a secret involving her script? Hmm. Arna, please stay by my side today. I'm so scared I could die. Hmm. Oh, uh, I'll think about it. Let's see, I'm getting a I feeling. I better get out of here. The real Warna might come back any second. I'm getting a feeling now because of what people are saying that somehow all three of them contributed to this death. I feel like all three of them contributed. I feel like Yoshiko wanted revenge for Aiko being dead and then she wanted revenge on Karin because she stepped up to be the next one or maybe she thought that Karin killed Aiko so she tried to kill her and then tried to get help with Warana going slow with the glasses to help kill her and old girl up top looking down to see which one was poisoned to help kill her. So I feel like all of them helped, Haiki. I feel like all of them helped. Thanks for talking to me. Anyway. Hmm. I feel like all three of y'all contributed to this. Everybody. They gonna be like, that was fast, that girl. Was super quick, Warna. Right. Huh? 
She's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> all right, so let's end this one. I feel like all three have contributed, but let's see. Let's go I dress up as old girl. I could get his war on People are afraid of her, mm -hmm. so they don't really talk to her. Right. But Yoshiko and Kurone both seem to suspect Waruna. Mm. On the other hand, Waruna's group of friends suspect Yoshiko and Kurone. Everyone yes, they do. Everyone suspects each other. Maybe everyone was on edge even before today's incident, but mm. there's still no information that could lead me to the culprit yet. I feel like I it's all three. I myself as another student to get more information. I'll head back to Desuhiko for now. Hmm. All right, make um, an excuse again. Teacher, do you have a moment? Oh, mm -hmm. what's wrong? <laughs> Are, Are you, you feeling, feeling unwell? <laughs> Excuse me for a minute. This student doesn't seem to be feeling well. <laughs> How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? The last person. All right, let's go ahead and be. I want to disguise as Kurane. Yep. Can you do it? Kurane. Uh. Hold on. Did you not remember I'm that reviewing one? Viewing my mental high school girl album right now. Oh my god. Oh, found her. She's the one everyone calls distinctive. I don't know how society sees her, but hmm. she's right on the border of my strike zone. G boy. I bet he'd be happy with just about anyone. Right. He'd probably enjoy getting hit by a dead ball if the pitcher was a girl. Okay, let's start. Right. He don't care who it is. He just wants to poom poom. <laughs> All right. Up with the investigation. <laughs> I'm getting way more tired than I expected. I'm so sorry. If I stop concentrating, my disguise will wear off. Mm. All right, I'll make it quick. So please hold right. on the fort for just a bit. I'm longer. so sorry. This is hurting you. I'm counting on you. <laughs> he sounds so tired. He's like, please, please hurry up. All right, let's start. I like her bow. Out of all of them, I feel like Kurene is the cutest. Like with her, like even though she's just wearing a tracksuit and a bow, I like her little bow. Um. Hmm. Oh, you oh, scared? Sorry if I scared you. Hmm. I want to talk about what happened. Hmm. Yoshiko? Hmm. She oh? She won't even look at me. Right. Maybe she's still in shock from the incident? Or does she treat Kurumi like this all the time? Hmm. Hey, Yoshiko. Can we talk? Absolutely not. Oh? I will not speak to you. I told you it'd be this way. Oh? Huh? As I've said before, I refuse to even look at you. Oh, really? Please. Go away. Oh, she Yoshiko, you really you're... hates Kurone. Right. Is there a reason why? Why are you acting like a bitch? For now. Right, okay. All right, so y'all are all mean to Kurone. Got it. Hmm. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? Go away. Oh, damn. Hold on. I just wanted to... Just by being here, you're a nuisance. Oh, my God. Did you get that? Uh. Damn, everybody she does not mess with Kurone. her. Right. He was right. These two really don't get along. Hmm. It's draining just pretending to be Kurone. I wonder if she's not affected by all this. My goodness. This is all because homegirl doesn't talk? My god. You're still not done. Girl, relax. Oh, hello, Kurone. Is something the matter? Oh, okay. So she'll talk to me. Hmm. Okay. She's actually right. going to talk. Hmm. Maybe she's on good terms with Kurone. Well, this, she did say that she was treated like a ghost. And kind of they're treating... The Kurone the same, if not worse. So I think that's common ground. Oh, mm. great timing. I was investigating what just happened. Mm. You mean to practice for a role? You did say you wish to play a detective someday. Oh, really? It's amazing, Kurone. You truly are a thespian. Oh. Right. So, there's something that's bothering me. Mm -hmm. What is it? I just handle the costumes, but is there something you want to know about them? Can anybody slip something in Maybe their costume? You think the actors on stage could have hidden poison in their costumes. Right. No, sorry. That would be impossible. Why do you say that? Right. Do they not have because pockets? I reviewed both costumes in the wings right before the performance started. Hmm. If they were carrying anything, I would have noticed then. Hmm. But what about after you checked? Like if they'd gone to the restroom or somewhere else? Right. Then I would check again. Besides, both of them were in the wings the whole time. Oh, mm. really? Though they were performing the whole time. Okay. So I haven't checked their costumes since the play began. Well, if they were here uh -huh. the whole time, they couldn't go grab the poison. If that's the case, mm -hmm. it would have been difficult for Warna or Cotton to bring poison on stage. So that means they didn't. Somebody else did. I think that is By a three-person team. I still need to organize the costumes here. Hmm. If you're free, could you help me out? It's hard to do it alone. I sure can. Sorry. Oh, well, I'm, a little busy I'm just right being now. nice. So we'll come back after I'm free. I guess. Oh, 
don't want to talk to me. No, baby! I'm sorry for bothering you while you're busy. I'll be waiting. No, that's not it. That, oh, I feel so sorry for that girl. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me go talk to her. Do you want something? Uh, I'm busy right now. Okay. She's so cold. Right. She refuses to speak to Kurene. All right, so that's a dead mission. All right. Um, I'm still in the middle of cleaning up. Can you not touch anything? Oh, okay. So sorry. Damn, y'all be really treating her terribly. What is going on with y'all? I, you know what? Now I'm seeing why some people are getting murdered. Y'all some bitches. E woo -woo -woo -woo. Right, right. That was close. I almost ran into Kurine, mm -hmm. but I need to check inside. I'll just wait for her to leave. Yeah. You'll help me organize the costumes? Sure. Help organize the costumes? Mm -hmm. Wait, if I can use her to my advantage... I sure oh, can. Taking advantage of a high school girl. Mm. You've really hit rock bottom. Shinny, I don't want to hear you for the rest of this chapter, okay? I don't. <laughs> well, will you help me? I wanted to have a little chat with you, too. Oh? Um, yes. Um, no. Hmm, I, asked, I was asked to help. It says, I'm busy, so I'll come back when I'm free. No. Um, come get me from the staff room later. They both sound like the same thing. Like, not now. Well, I'll help out later. So, can you grab me from the staff room? Mm -hmm. Later? Count to 100 in your head. Right. I'll be done with what I need to do by then. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll start counting now. One. Oh, Two, this girl just needs some socialization. Three. She needs some socialization. Right she needs some socialization. Okay. Alrighty, so she's out. The count to do 100, Karen A. Hmm. Huh? What? She's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Get her out that room. There we go, girl. Alright, good. Mm -hmm. I better check the staff room while I can. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Now that she's out, let me go ahead and go back in. Let's take a break. All right. Let's talk to you, girl. Hey, do you have a minute? Hmm. Oh, okay. Ignore me, then. You can hear me, can't you? Right. She's ignoring me. Hmm. I guess she's not going to talk. Hmm. Okay, fuck you, then. <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, Kearney. When did you get here? Why do you seem scared of everybody? This reminds me. Thank you for what you did. Oh, uh, for what? what again? Right. You know, how you inspired me with the presentation on stage. Oh. Oh. Oh, girl. That one scene. You're such a good amnesiac. <laughs> oh, the knack for playing along with no memory. Oh my God. The part with the overlapping spotlights after the glasses get shuffled. Hmm. It expresses how the two characters' fates are intertwined. It was hmm. all thanks to you that we decided to go with this presentation. Oh, really? Karine, why don't you take over stage direction for our next performance? Mm. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So this is making me still think and lead towards it was a three-person thing. I feel like Karine was in charge of the life so that you know which one had the poison in it. Um, uh, what's the other one? The other girl that's like the rock girl. Uh, not her. Ma whatever her name. I don't know, man. The one that was the other one that didn't get poison on stage. She shuffled the glasses slowly so that that way it could be presented correctly the poison and i feel like yoshiko provided the poison for her for car to die like i feel like everybody did it i feel like everybody did it just to confirm i was the one who suggested the lighting presentation on the glasses yeah what's wrong you're acting kind of strange today i feel like everybody did this bro no, i feel like everybody did it everybody had a piece of the pie like everybody did something Okay, what's up, Gossip Twins? Two theater club members are whispering to each other. They haven't noticed me. Or they don't Maybe care if they're there. Maybe this Kurene disguise has made me less conspicuous. So, mm. who do you think killed Karin? Oh. It has to be Warana, right? Totally. It's gotta be her. She can never read the room, you know? Mm. Like, she doesn't see the other members as people. Ooh. We're all just stepping stones to her. Mm. She thinks she's the main protagonist or something. Okay. She basically treats everyone like side characters. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. She wouldn't think twice about killing people. Mm -hmm. They're talking about Warner behind her back. 
the theater club really is on edge all the time. I mean, it is drama. But even if so. Lorna was the culprit, how did she get cut in to drink the poison? Mm -hmm. Well, it's gotta be at that one part. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where Warna gets closer to the shelf? Uh huh. Oh, right after the blackout. It's the scene where she gets the plate, right? Mm -hmm. She kind of secretly snuck in some real poison and added it to the glass or wine bottle. That's mm. it. Waruna is totally the. The scene where Warna mm. approaches the shelf. I guess it is pretty suspicious. Could she have added the poison then? In the upside down glass on the shelf? She could have added it to the rim, like salt on the rim of a glass. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. But she never picked him up. So. You don't get it? Let's see. Uh let's go to hers, Kurine's locker. It's a club locker. Hmm. Kurine's name tag is on it. Doesn't seem to this Kurene gal seems the type who'd booby trap her locker. Hmm. Okay, what is in here, girl? Okay, it's very plain. Hmm? Hmm. What's this? What is what? It looks like eye drops. Oh! There are so many of them, though. Huh. Some for red eyes and for dry eyes. Hmm. Is this something Kurene usually uses? She could have used the eyedropper from up top to put the. Man, she could have done it. Doesn't seem like there's anything else of interest. Hmm. I guess there's not much else we can find in the staff room. Hmm. We better leave before Kurine comes back. She might have dropped it in the glasses. Maybe. It's all the information I can gather while disguised as Kurine. Kurine seems a bit eccentric, mm -hmm. but she doesn't draw a lot of attention to herself. Mm -hmm. I was able to get some information thanks to that. Mm -hmm. Kurine was focused on production this time. She was thinking about the lights presentation. Uh -huh. The lights were managed properly during the play. It doesn't seem like she had a chance to use any poison. Hmm. I was able to gather more intel by disguising myself as those three. But I still don't have any definitive evidence that proves who the culprit is. Mm -hmm. I won't get much further just thinking about it. So I should go to Desuhiko for now. Hmm. I really think all three did it, y'all. Something's not shaking me from this. Um, excuse me. Hmm. Where's the teacher who was here? Probably in the back throwing up. <laughs> oh, she wasn't feeling well and went <laughs> to the administrative office. Yeah. The same teacher keeps going back to the restroom, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's food poisoning. She's sick because I'm in disguise. The office? Why at a time like this? His body is screaming. He's like, can you please get out of this, uh, <laughs> out of this costume? There we go. Yep. D D Desuhiko? What happened? Mm -hmm. oh, it's you, Yuma. Sorry. I need a break. Yeah, uh, no. I started getting dizzy, so uh, I ran in here to get away from everyone. Mm -hmm. I try to retrieve my disguise tools, but I can't. <laughs> I'm at my limit. I can't move. I understand. You're that fatigued? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, well, this is the longest I've ever stayed in a disguise. Wow. Sorry for making you go through so much. I don't worry about it, man. Mm -hmm. I got to lean on a girl's shoulder on the way here, so oh really, my God. I should be thanking you. Oh my God. I got plenty of good sniffs in. Ew. The more he talks, the less likable he gets. Right. So, how'd it go? Any trouble investigating? About that. Hmm. I gathered some information, but I'm lacking something more definitive. Right, like good evidence. Everyone has something suspicious about them, so. I don't know who the culprit is yet. Hmm. Speaking of which, the peacekeepers mentioned a past incident that happened at this school. With Aiko. A past incident? You know, the one with Kurumi's best friend six months ago? Mm -hmm. The girl who fell from the school's roof and died. Mm -hmm. The peacekeepers want to pin Kurumi with a murder motive for that incident. Mm. But they're going to twist the truth into something that's convenient for them. At this rate, Kurumi will... He'll mm. save her, won't you? Hero. I'm... No hero, but if they want to distort the truth, uh -huh. then as a detective, I can't let it slide. Exactly. <laughs> and that's how you see it. You're already a hero, Yuma. There's still time if you hurry. Go and seek the truth that hasn't reared its head yet. But hmm. how? Right. The guy snooping around about the first incident is a chubby peacekeeper. Oh. Get information out of him and figure out what they're trying to suppress. I'm mad they put chubby like in highlights, like to let you know that there's only one of them. <laughs> like <laughs> they won't tell me so easily. Hmm. Hold on. There is one way it could be possible. Disguise me as a peacekeeper. Huh. Disguise myself. Use Hilara's forte to fight? Disguise myself as Martina. Who's yo, who's Martina? Disguise myself as the chubby peacekeeper. I see. Uh-huh. So if I can disguise myself as the chubby peacekeeper. Yeah. 
you're gonna disguise your Oh wait, wait, wait. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh who's Martina though? That's it. I can get that information. Oh, that girl. Martina, okay. The vice director of the peacekeepers. I forgot who she was. Looks like you now understand the power of disguises. Well then, let's get started. Hmm. On second thought. Sorry. I don't have any energy left to disguise you. Hmm. Huh? I think I'll recover if I take a nap. Uh -huh. I do. There's no time to wait for Desuhiko. I need to find Kurumi immediately. It'll be mm. too late if I wait until the peacekeepers and their investigate. But I can't force Desuhiko to do a half-hearted disguise. Right, because then I'd It'd be, be caught. Way too dangerous with the peacekeeper. What am I supposed to do? Uh, mm. Aren't you forgetting about a certain ability? Oh, mm. that's right. But what? But don't yell out of nowhere. The peacekeepers will find us. <laughs> hey, Desuhiko. Can yep. you lend me a hand for a little while? Uh, right. Lend a hand? Yeah, hold my yeah, hand. I just need you to hold my hand for a bit. Yeah. Are you serious? But right now, you're disguised like a girl. Oh, is that more tempting for you to hold my hand? Whatever. What if I start to have feelings? Sit. if you don't hurry up. Now's not the time for right. jokes. Hurry, please. Jeez, Come on. What's going on? Jesus, hold my hand. What is this weird feeling? Is this love? Oh, my. Oh, my. No, it's a long story, but Jesus. it's the forte I gained in exchange for my memories. Hmm. Just holding hands will allow me to use another person's forte. Yeah. Are you serious? You actually have a forte? Yes, I do. Let me borrow your disguise tools. Hmm. Man. How does it look? Oh, I look great. Oh, wow. That's the perfect disguise. Hmm. Did you really do this, Yuma? You never told me you had such an amazing power. I know, I'm trying to keep going I'm surprised low. there was a peacekeeper uniform in your bag. Hmm. You're so well prepared, Desuhiko. Hmm. Wait, but we're holding hands. How'd you put your arm through the sleeve? Look, don't anyway, worry about it. The disguise is over, right. so we can let go now. Don't worry about it. You said a chubby peacekeeper was investigating the past incident? Hmm. I'm going to go talk to him. And with that perfect disguise, there's so much more you can do. Uh, not with you. Okay, we're not doing right. that. You stay here and rest. I'll resume the investigation. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go in here. Let's look for the chubby one. I shouldn't even say that. The one that's thick. Let's look for the thick officer. All right, another investigation. Man, we did like five. This is number five at this point. Oh, is that is that him? This is the biggest that's one. So that's the biggest one. You Let's see. Do you have a moment? Mm hmm Vice Director Martina! Mm-hmm. Is it time for my punishment? Yeah, punishment. Punishment? Anyway, right. Were you the one investigating the Ico case half a year ago? Hmm. Yes, that's correct. Is it time for my punishment? Is this prison school? What are we doing? I need to confirm a few things. Can you tell me what you've discovered so far? Gladly! <clears throat> Aiko's body was discovered behind the school building in the flower bed after class. Okay. She was bleeding from an injury to her head. This mm. is believed to be the cause of death. The mm. body was not wearing shoes on either foot. The mm. shoes were then discovered on the roof of the school building, set together neatly. So somebody placed that there. This is why it was deemed a suicide via jumping off the roof. But it wouldn't be just her head that would be hit. Her whole body was splat. Uh, uh, here is a photo from the scene. Hmm. See, now, if you fall from the top. It ain't gonna be just your head that splats. It's gonna be everything. You were hit and maybe she tripped and fell downstairs already on the ground. And then they put her shoes at the top to make it look like she she jumped or something. Hmm. Yeah. Her shoes Who's were in the dirt. The body? Right. Let's see. It was a student named Cotton. Mm. Another theater club member. Okay, I feel like I'm getting all the pieces together. So, Karin found the body, but I feel like Karin's the one that killed her. Karin wanted to be the head of everything, and she was like, you know, the president. She's some president's daughter of whatever, and she wanted the spotlight. So she went ahead and killed Aiko while they were outside talking or something. Made her hit, or she probably didn't kill her on purpose. She probably did it by accident. And they did it while they were in that garden because some boots had dirt on it. So she probably killed her by accidentally having her hit her head in the back of the head on that brick, and that's how she died. And then Karin made it worse by making it put her boots up at the top to make it seem like she jumped off. And probably Yushiko 
knows that Karin didn't like her or wanted her spot. So she probably wanted revenge on her thinking that she killed her. And the other two helped out. That's what I think happened. I don't know. Huh? Karin? Hmm. She heard something fall and went to check the flower bed. Hmm. There she discovered Aiko on the ground. That hmm. is what she testified. Mm -hmm. Aiko was considered the star of the theater club, but apparently she worried about her future goals. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is the last photo of Aiko prior to her death. Uh-huh, she looks so happy. So this is Aiko. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's all coming together. Uh-huh. I see. Thank you for the report. Continue your investigation. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, but what about my punishment? Oh my god, does he want to get stepped on? Um, yes! Oh my god. What's with the punishment thing? Right, it's a cake. Anyway, Don't worry. I got what I came for. I should keep investigating, but mm. where to go? Uh, uh, hey, what, oh, what oh, are you doing? she's pulling me. Now she's actively doing something to help me, huh? Cut it out! Why are you getting in the way of my investigation? Oh, wait. Right. A oh. Chemistry oh, lab. to see where the poison came from. Let's see. Well, I'm here anyway. Might as well check it out. Mm-hmm. Sydney, you know you want to help me a little bit, you know. Who's <laughs> this? All right. Let's see. Huh. There are eyedroppers used in the lab. Uh-huh. These still look new. Eyedroppers from Kurene, maybe? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This is the bottle of poison discovered by the peacekeepers that was used for the murder. Hmm. They'd taken it out for the investigation. Did they put it back because they were done? They're dumb at what they do. Like that, so don't worry. The bottle's lid was unsealed. The bottle hmm. is too big to easily conceal. Right. Taking this to the theater hall would attract attention. But if you put in the eyedroppers, it wouldn't. If that's the case. Maybe its contents were poured into another kit. According to the mm. label on this box, this chemical will react to oxygen in open air, uh -huh. rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a more detailed description about it here. Mm. Once opened, oxidation cannot be stopped. Transferring to another sealed container will not prevent this process. Okay. I still feel like they put it in the droppers. Maybe. Let's see, let's look at this. Wait, there's a paintbrush near the chemical shelf. Hmm. The tip of the brush is wet. And what is this? Did they brush or line the edges of the glass with the poison? Hmm. Miss Martina. Uh-huh. Is there something insufficient about our investigation? Had you told me, I would have verified myself. Thank huh. you for your diligence. Tell me, do you have the results from testing for poison? Mm -hmm. Yes, as I've reported to you already. Okay. Poison was only found on the victim's glass. Only the victim's? Only the victim. What about the bottle or the other glass? None. No mm. traces have been found on those. Okay, I feel like my theory is becoming more and more correct. Maybe. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And as you've instructed, this information is currently being kept from the official report. I mm. see. Good work. The poison was only on Cotton's glass? Mm -hmm. How was that possible? We put on only one. We put on only one. Yep. Huh. It was done on stage. There's probably not much else that can be checked in the camp, but it sure is convenient mm. being disguised as Martina. The peacekeepers keep telling me everything. Exactly. I should have taken this disguise from the start. Maybe I should keep investigating in this form. Hmm. Hmm. What else should I look at? Oh, yeah, Shani's like, oh my god, just come on. Again? Right. Because you don't be acting like he don't know what he's doing. In the staff room? Hmm. I think I already checked everything. We in didn't here. look in Karin's locker. No, I didn't check everything. Mm -hmm. There were lockers I haven't searched yet. Yep. Now that I'm disguised as Martina, mm -hmm. I can look through everything. There we go. Thank you, Sydney. Sydney's finally helping and being helpful. All right, let's look in Karin's. It's a club locker. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Mm hmm. Huh? Yeah. Right, y'all go shut up back there. Oh, what's that? Huh? Huh? There's something on the floor. It's the script for the play. Hmm. Cotton's name is written on the cover. There are tons of handwritten notes. Hmm. A 
lot of effort was clearly put into this. Hmm? There's something written in red at the Duel of Poison's Cup scene. Hmm. Take the glass, the spotlight hits first. What I say, y'all. What I say, y'all. I feel like they didn't. I knew something was up with how they did the lights. Like, they, why didn't they just put the lights on it? Boom. At the same time, they said boom, boom. And I knew that one was to indicate something that you are supposed to drink. Because I'm trying to kill you. Like, oh my God. I must have written this. Hmm. The handwriting is the same as the rest. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All three of y'all are in on it. All three, all three of you bitches did something to this girl. She definitely looked away just now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll talk to Dude. you. Do you have a moment? Mm-hmm. Are you the one who shoved Conan's script into her locker? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? I have an eyewitness account of you taking Conan's script. Right. Are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll mm. be sorry later on. Right. Don't tell me you're also hiding the chemical used in the murder. Oh? I I'm not, I swear. She's definitely hiding something. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I can get anything out of her. You should pat her down and search her. Oh, huh? and you talk about, what? You was calling me a part this whole time. A detective must suspect everything. Oh, don't turn your back now. You get to fondle a high school girl. Oh my God. Being the pervert you are, you'd be killing two birds with one stone. Girl, that's not what I came here to do. Huh. Hey, you. Check Karine's body to see if she's hiding something. Right, have somebody else do it. Wouldn't it be better for the peacekeepers to do their own investigation? I don't want a lawsuit. But that would uh, cause some problems. Just do as I say. Right. I'm on it. Right. I'm like, I don't want a lawsuit, okay? I'm an adult. They'll label oh, me as a pedo. something in her pocket. Oh? That's... Oh? What's this? A notebook. Hmm. Is this a scrapbook? Hmm. There are magazine and newspaper clippings in it. And all the articles are... Are of Iko? To Ike on another wow. page. Wow. There's a small clipping of an article about Iko's suicide. Was she collecting everything there is about Iko? Hmm. Wait, is that? <laughs> oh. Hey, where's she going? Hmm. No, it's fine. Okay, huh? I see what's going on here. So, it looks like. Okay, so we got it. We got we got what's going on here. All right, so this is the photo of Kern and Iko. But other things were ripped and when Aiko was in the same picture with Yusuko both the sides were ripped so it looks like Aiko, Kurane, Warana, and Yoshiko were all besties okay that's what it looked like all of them were besties that's what this looks like and they were all together and then when Aiko died they all separated hmm I have to open this for the investigation. Right. Do you understand? Huh? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's open up her locker. Let's see. I mean, I did already open it, but oh, let's look. Right. This diary has a lock on it. Mm -hmm. I feel bad about reading someone's diary, but I need as many clues as I can get my hands on. You exactly. There. Can you call over the student named Waruna? And tell her to open it up. Mm-hmm. What do you want with me? Open up this open diary. This lock? Mm -hmm. That's my diary. I don't care. How did you get that? That has nothing to do with what happened. I bet a picture of her and the other girls, like with Aiko, Kurene, all of them are inside that diary. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. Mm-hmm. It pains me to do this, but right. it might lead to a clue. I have no choice. Hmm. Isn't this what a detective would do? They would. There's no need for emotions to solve a case, right? He, she's, she's very right. I understand that. Hmm. Here's the key. All I'll right. Get it back right away. Don't worry. Mm hmm I just need to see what's going on. Yep, there we go. What's mm -hmm. this photo? Mm hmm I see. So y'all were all Here. friends. You can have it back. Mm-hmm. And she was like, that's something near and dear to her. So all of them loved Aiko. Mm -hmm. All right. That's enough investigating in this form. I should revert mm -hmm. to my normal self. It'll get increasingly harder to investigate. Forcibly exposing secrets isn't an investigation. It's just coercion. No, it's not. I mean, I mean, like, in this case, we had to because they weren't going to talk to certain people, so. <sighs> You're such a naive softie. Right. right. Let's go back to Desahiko. I had to do it this way or else these bitches wouldn't talk. 
Hmm. Huh? Oh, shit. You idiot! Don't come back here right now! Oh, man. Damn, this is bad. Oh, my God. Another elegant and highly intelligent beauty. Uh-oh. What a surprise. Of course you'll compliment yourself, girl. Although it appears hmm. you were unable to copy what is in my head. Yeah. Put oh! your hands up. You must be the suspicious person wandering around the crime scene. Mm. I received word of you lurking about, and here we are. Oh my god. Who are you? Oh my goodness. I am but a saint. <laughs> Okay. What do I do? At this mm -hmm. rate, both of us will be kept. Looks like you gotta mm. surrender. And that's what you get for getting carried Shut away. Up, Shinny. Although, if you apologize to me sincerely, I just might. You just might what? What? What are you screaming for? <laughs> what are you? Oh. There's an imposter. <laughs> the imposter is right here. She's carrying a weapon. Right. Hold on. That's the imposter. Uh huh. Huh? Yeah. This teacher and I will evacuate the premises. Mm -hmm. Eliminate that threat at once. That's right. That's right, Yuma. Hey, now what do we do? Run, get I out. Think that far ahead? Let's uh go this way. Right. Just get out. Woo, that was some good thinking, Yuma. Oh. Uh-oh. Where is Night Night when you need her, man? That's enough. Hmm. As I suspected, you can't copy what's in my head after all. Uh oh. Now uh -oh. reveal your true identity, otherwise you will be shot. Oh wow! Y'all straight be <laughs> killing people. That's crazy. What's going on? Hmm. Oh, you're not gonna kill me with These witnesses teacher. around, are you? Less. There are two of the same peacekeeper. Uh oh. What is happening? Uh oh, it's an imposter among us. <laughs> Only brought her back. Hmm. Yeah. Yoshiko, Waruna, Kurone, Kurumi too. Mm hmm. I was so close. I almost figured out who the true culprit is. No, well now I gotta probably go into the mystery now lab. Hurry it up! I won't give you a countdown before I pull the trigger. Oh, really? Hmm. Wait, wait! I'll do as you say. Mm-hmm. All right, let's calm down. There we go. All right, get inside. They probably looking at this like, what the hell is going on? Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Relax. Oh, and Maggie winked at them like, hey. <laughs> yeah. You lot. Mm-hmm. I see. Detectives from the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh, she got that crazy laugh. Uh-oh. In that case, you can both be disposed of right here and now. Oh, no. With what? Right. Damn. I've got no choice. Uh-oh. What are you about to do? We about to do Desu. Oh, oh! What are you doing? Get out of here, Yuma! Oh no! Have you gone mad? Do you realize what happened? No! Oh no! I don't know what Desu thought that was gonna do. Oh my God! Oh wow! Oh man, and she looks happy to pull the trigger too. She got me. Help me. I need your powers. Right. I have to. Thank you. Let's stop this whole thing. Put us in the mystery labyrinth. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Save us. All right. Here go the magical girl transformation. All right. Put on your boots, girl. There we go. We haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> Alrighty. Every why do we think I have to jiggle? Every time that we she does something, it's a jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. What I wanna know when people make anime and things like that and like a character has titties, why do they think that every time that we move, our moves go like this every time? Like how how come they think that that happens? When I'm moving like this, it doesn't like it sits. Aw, I did it without thinking. He mm -hmm. didn't even get on his knees or anything. But oh, you want him to beg? Um 
Well, why are you gonna let us in? Thanks, Shinigami. Mm -hmm. You saved me. Don't hmm. mention it. After all, I'm compelled to help when people need me. Oh, are you? Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> This? Yeah, it's a lot. What's going on? It's a lot. Yes, What's, I know. Looks like we got an unwanted straggler in here. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. Uh, more importantly, where do you live? What are uh -uh. your hobbies? What do you think of me? Oh my god. He, she's like, oh, please leave me alone. Oh god. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's what she wants to do to you, my high key. She's like, bye, everybody. Even though they can't see her. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is where we're going to start now. So the next episode of this will be where we find out who the killer is. I feel like the killer is all three. I really cannot shake this. My mind is telling me that it's all three because I feel like all three are friends with Aiko, for one, because they're all in the picture and they all love her dearly and i feel like they're trying to get revenge on karen for being the one that discovered the body and i think that they think that she's the one that killed her too so they tried to all get revenge for her being dead so i feel like they all played a certain part and i think that's why they're all not trying to talk to each other because their friendship fell out they all killed someone so it's like they don't want to be connected to each other i don't know i feel like all three of them did it in some capacity all three of them. All three of them contributed. <laughs> before, before I leave, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, leave a like, leave a like for your girl. Promise to me and all the good stuff. And I will be back from the episode of this and find out who the killer or killers were. So I'll see y'all later. And this is.